This video is how to repair a leak around a stovepipe on a flat roof like this. Properly and do a proper uh, repair and it will never leak. But I'm going to show you now how to make these repairs. See? So around the stovepipe, they try to repair it, but you can see they went over tar, and it doesn't, it's not as good over tar, look. See that? It doesn't stick to tar that well. This, this repair was over tar and everything, but it was a quick repair because there's an emergency repair, but look, it's coming up like that. And be sure it will come up later on if I can pull it up like that, you can see the cracks around the tar. It will keep, it will come back. So to fix this, we need to remove what other people did. That's the hard part. The hard part is to remove anybody's junk. You cannot just go over anybody's repair. You don't know how well it was done and you don't know what in this case, they went over tar and was not prepped properly. So now it's just peeling up. All right, but it, it just it was a good temporary repair. That's not... For the tar, I cannot do a repair with something else when it's on silicon. You have to remove the silicone. So that's the important part, getting the silicone off. And I'm gonna show you how to do it with a grinder and then with a bra uh. That is the first step, preparation. So I'm using a Lacquer thinners, lacquer thinners to uh, remove the, to clean the metal from silicon. See that? Like that. So I'm gonna explain when do I use these? When do I use these two products? Extreme or super silicon seal? Or when do I use turbo poly seal? Look at it. Turbo poly seal. When I have a transition between uh, asphalt, which is black tar, tar and asphalt and metal, I'll use turbo poly seal. Turbo poly seal is an asphalt urethane based product. When I have EPDM rubber, which is a synthetic rubber, I'll use one of these two. And either one is good. This is much thicker easier to use. This is a little bit thinner if I want to coat the entire EPDM roof. But this is only to do the flashing between asphalt and metal. So that's what my, my uh, what I'm going to do now. I'll put tape around like that. Let me self uh, this and then you're going to cut this in tabs every inch. I cut it to the half of the, main, uh, the fleece. This is polyester fleece. And I cut it like that. Just half, halfway. Object like this, you need to cut tabs, otherwise you're not gonna make it around. Just like that, okay? Like that. Look how nice that is. That by itself will seal without having to put the fleece, but the fleece is really making the transition between any object that will work watch this is it look how nice see how nice it fits around the pipe the tabs look that's it When you overlap a fleece, you put some 
turbo in between. I have to coat this first and then I'm going to show you the next step what is very important after that. If you want this to last 20 years or longer, I'll show you the next step after this is cured. It can do it within an hour or 24 hours, but the next step is just as important as this because to protect your job from ultraviolets, you need to, oh, please give me thumbs up. But if you give me a thumbs up, I'm gonna remove this tape. If you don't give me a thumbs up, Nah, just remove it. <laughs> give me a thumbs up because I'm um, look how clean it is. Look, just give me a thumbs up for that, please. Okay, and subscribe. Okay. So I waited about 24 hours, and after I made this transition, look how nice it is. Beautiful. You can see it's nice and smooth, and this will never leak. It sticks to the metal, cannot come off. It's still tacky right now because it's only 24 hours, but it gets better and better. But this is it, it's nice. So the final step is silver coat protection. You gotta put silver coat protection on the, over this to protect it from the ultraviolets, and look at it. Once you got the silver coat protection on there, this will never, never, never go bad again. See that? Look at it, beautiful. Beautiful. This is now a transition to a stove pipe, vent pipe. And the final step, to fix the leak on a stove pipe or a vent pipe is to add silver coat protection over the turbo poly seal so that it protects it against the ultraviolet. And look, it's done, just like that. See that? Beautiful, beautiful.